Hi, my name is Kristen and my practice is Well Balanced. Um, on my walk, sometimes in the morning, I'll touch base with my friend Carrie. And we always kind of banter back and forth on different aha moments we've had. And her aha moment was so profound, I wanted to share it because it's something that I know we all know intuitively, but the way she put it was so beautiful. She said, you know, Kristen, I was thinking the other day that I am that person who is suffering from dementia. I am that person who doesn't have food on their table. I am that person who is suffering from cancer. I am also that person who has COVID. I am that person who is very happy and I'm also that person who is struggling with d depression and darkness. She said, Kristen, we are all so connected that each of us are showing and shining the very thing that could be very much a part of who we are. All of us who live on this earth will experience different forms of darkness and light and nothing is new. Every, nothing is new under the sun, that Bible passage, right? In Ecclesiastics, it's like we are all connected. And she said, so the more I learn to love the people, places and things that push against me or rub me raw, do I come into a place of really looking at myself where I can grow more and how I can show more love? See, I really feel, I mean, when we're talking, I really feel that we are here to, to grow our souls. And so really it's not about us getting our way or us you know, making our way up the corporate ladder or us having the biggest house or us having the biggest best car or the perfect family or whatever it is that we think is the epitome of they've got it together where really it is about love if everything is about love then the very things that push against us the very darkness that pushes against us is the very thing that lifts us up to give us an opportunity to come into a place of love to learn one more time where we um, need to learn and grow where our soul needs to expand and I got, I was thinking, I mean, it's so perfect timing with her comment because I was just in meditation that morning and I got the very strong meditation, a message that all of our thoughts are very powerful and all of our thoughts are truly manifesting in front of us. And so I was actually texting her saying, Carrie, it, it just reminds me that every thought I project is not just a thought, it is real energy creating my reality. And so here she is saying we're all connected and everybody is together in this journey of life and to love all, no matter who they are, or what walk of life and to love ourselves, especially as we journey through life. And maybe sometimes we do the things that we are very proud of and other times we do the things that we were like, wow, how did I do that? And um, yet we need the darkness and the light it's the same thing with our thoughts. The very thoughts we have are projecting our reality. The very thoughts that we have are creating almost like a, sometimes I think of it almost like a computer game. Like, you know, what, what life do we want? We wanna create it. We want, we wanna put out goodness and kindness and we wanna attract those things. But that doesn't mean that we shove ourselves down. And so that is a fine line and I was, thinking the other day when I got rubbed wrong about something it just kind of pushed against me this certain issue and I had to take a step back and really look at it's all good it shows me one more time where I need to grow when I back away and allow myself to feel without judgment and I say gosh I'm feeling that feeling again what is it telling me so for me for instance, I went into deep meditation and I asked, please show me what this means. And it was so cool because it unpacked a lot of stuff really from my childhood even that again, I'm not even blaming my childhood, but that was the beliefs that I learned about myself or my self-worth that were coming up right now out of the blue. And so again, just know that we're in an amazing shift in this world. Know that we have choices and this is our time to truly create love peace joy harmony for ourselves and for those around us and when we change ourselves and when we love ourselves are we truly loving
everyone around us? Are we truly loving our neighbors? Am we truly loving that stranger on the street? And we're truly rising the vibration of the world. It is so much better than the alternative. And the alternative for me never gets me quite anywhere. But the trick is, and you hear this all the time in my videos, is to allow yourself to feel. And so we don't want to be shoving our emotions down because we are feeling people. We, we, we don't just shine yellow happy. We shine all colors of the spectrum. And so again, when things rise up, don't judge it, allow it. It lasts one to two to three minutes, that, the real intense, uncomfortable feelings. Release it, let it go, say thank you so much, but you no longer serve me. Call in the light, call in God, ask for clarity on the very thing, ask for the very way that you can heal in this situation. Because really, other people, places and things really reflect upon us the very thing that we still need to heal. And so talking about Carrie's aha moment is that we are all so connected that it's, it just shines so much love on everything. It shines so much love on anybody who pushes against us, anybody who, who really um, frustrates us or angers us or anybody who is very sad or anybody who is very ill could very well be us as well in some form, right? If we're all connected, then we all have these experiences together. And so if we show compassion and love on this journey in life, how much more grateful and how much more gratitude the world will have as we progress forward. And so again, my, that was Carrie's like aha moment. And then my aha moment in deep meditation was watch our thoughts, Be, hold, hold, hold your cap, thoughts captive for they create your reality. And again, not shoving our feelings down, feeling our feelings, releasing them, then asking the light to come in and guide us to a more enlightened path. And pretty soon, things look so much better. Pretty soon, you're finding that you're not riled because you're getting so deeply healed by so much love in you and so much compassion for others. I was, um, it was a quick, quick story. I was at a bridal shower this weekend. And this woman walked up to me and she said, um, hi, Kristen. And I was like, I said, you look really familiar, but I don't know how I know you. And she said, you, you know, and then she told me your name. She goes, you used to train me at Moon Valley Country Club when I was the director there. And it was like 10 plus years ago. And I go, oh my gosh, yes. How are you doing? And she goes, I have been on a path of healing. And so she told me after 40 years of marriage um, to an unhealthy man that she met when she was 17, she, she finally had the courage to move on. And she says the growth in her has been profound. And she realized that it wasn't him per se that was keeping her down. It was her lack of loving herself. It was her lack of um, allowing herself to heal instead of going down a negative path she chose to walk into newness and she worked with a lot of um, healers and a lot of shamans for her that was her healing path she did a lot of inward um, introspective work and she's come to this place that it was so cool to talk to her like we were talking the same language it, it was like it's all about love and it's all about growing your soul's growth here and it's all about loving yourself first and all relationships fall into place and and unfortunately for her the relationship that she was in was so damaging that it didn't work out but i do believe i get people in my office all the time wanting to blame other people places and things for the very thing that they need to heal within themselves and quite often i just listen and i say okay that's how you feel i honor that Let's set the other person, place, and thing aside and let's go within. Let's go deep. Let's look at your thoughts. Let's look at your beliefs. Let's look at how you see this world. Let's look at how you see love. Let's look at the bigger perspective. Come up from the eagle's perch. Look down at the darkness and the light that is guiding you through life. And it gets you so much further and it takes you that one step more into life, into pure joy, where you're not really getting riled by the things around you anymore. You are sending out love and that love is coming back to you in 10, 20, 30, 40, 100 folds. Uh, remember, send love from your heart and all things will change. Thank you for listening and have a great day.